Hello, you're watching New Vision TV. I am Ruth Inaseje. Now, following four years of a constitutional dictatorship, the military stepped in and kicked out President Milton Obote and his government. Let's find out more in this second episode in a mixed journey of Uganda at 55. January 25th, 1971, General Idi Amin led the Ugandan army and seized power in a military coup d'etat that overthrew President Milton Obote. The coup was executed while Obote was attending the Commonwealth Heads of State Conference in Singapore. Amin carried out the coup because Obote was planning to arrest him for misappropriating army funds. Troops loyal to Amin sealed off Entebbe International Airport and captured Kampala. Others surrounded Obote's residence and blocked major roads. In a radio broadcast on Radio Uganda, Amin accused Obote's government of corruption and preferential treatment for his tribesmen, the Langis. People flooded the streets of major towns cheering and chanting after the radio broadcast. Amin announced that the military had taken over power in the interim and would remain only as a caretaker regime until new elections were conducted. He promised to release all political prisoners. Amin gave former King of Buganda and President Edward Mutesa a state funeral in April 1971. The Kabaka had died in exile. Amin also implemented what he had promised when he freed political prisoners. Amin was largely supported by the British before and after the coup because the previous president, Milton Obote, was attempting to nationalize UK businesses. Eventually he, Amin, declared himself president for life. In 1972, General Idi Amin Dada ordered all Asians who were not Ugandan citizens, around 60,000 of them, to leave the country within 90 days. Amin later changed his mind and amended his original expulsion order and asked all the country's 80,000 Asians to go. General Amin expelled the Asians because they had become a burden to the black majority who were the nationals. Amin referred to them as blood suckers and accused them of milking the economy of its wealth. The stage was set for a total breakdown of the economy that was flourishing for years. Let's keep the conversation coming on our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are The New Vision and Twitter at New Vision Wire. So till next time, I am Ruth Nasege.